you're looking at Diamond's new DA42L360, the much-awaited replacement for the original Teeler diesel-powered DA42. Hi everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb. When I visited Diamond's London, Ontario factory in early June, the company was putting the final touches on the L360 certification, and I counted a couple of dozen airframes in various stations of completion. In place of the Teeler diesels, the L360 has a pair of 180 horsepower Lycoming IO360s. Here's Rob Johnson to explain the engineering details. Primarily the biggest concern of getting the engines installed onto the DA42 is mounting the Lycoming 180 horsepower engines onto the existing firewall forward of the Teeler powered airframes. What they did was they redesigned the engine mounts for a five point mount, put the Lycomings on, which also required another cowling as well. Now the cowling has been redesigned to take into account the cooling airflow required for the cylinders and it ducks out the old upper exhaust from the Teeler ports again on the original airframe. Airframe wise, very, very similar, except from the firewall forward, a complete redesign of the, the power plant mounts. If you looked at the two, Teeler to a like homing, you'll notice that the cowls are much wider, incorporating the openings for the cylinder cooling airflow, as well as the vent strikes on the outboard right side for the oil cooler inlet. No major changes in the aircraft systems. Fuel system is identical. Electrical system is very similar in schematics to the Teeler powered aircraft. However, the FADEC controls were taken out and the wiring to the FADEX and so there was some redesign in corporate for the electrical schematics, but very much very similar. And flight controls, same as the Teeler powered airframes. Weight wise, the engines are lighter than the Teelerts, and also a saving on weight is the fuel. Using Avgas now, which is one pound lighter than the Jet A that was burnt by the Teelerts, you do have a weight saving on this airframe. As far as performance goes, 180 horsepower over the original 135 horsepower Teelerts, you get much better all engine climb performance and engine and operative abilities for engine and operative work on go-arounds and uh, flight characteristics much improved over the past years. After a ground briefing, Rob Johnson took me for a demo flight in the L360. As you'd expect, with 90 more total horsepower and lower weight, the airplane accelerates and climbs better than the diesel version cruises in the mid 150 knot range on about 10.8 gallons per side. That's a little faster than the diesel, but it burns about twice the fuel. Where the L360 really signs is in single engine performance. We had no trouble at all coaxing 350 feet per minute out of the right engine with the left engine caged. I seem to recall it was harder to do that in the diesel version if you could do it at all. On the other hand, securing an engine in the diesel version was more or less automatic. In the L360, it's the usual step on the ball, identify, verify, fire drill that every twin pilot le learns by rote. With counter-turning props, there's no critical engine in the L360. BMC is an eye-opening 65 knots. You'd have to be brain dead, or maybe really dead, to provoke this airplane into a VMC roll. It's probably one of the safest twins ever built. The L360 retains the Garmin G1000, tailored with engine monitoring for the Lycomings. It also has Diamond's trademark panoramic view out the windshield, but with improved canopy for more headroom and more shade in hot weather. As you can see, Diamond is busy building L360s. Diamond is offering a Lycoming conversion option for owners of Teeler powered aircraft at a fixed price of $125,000 complete. There's also an option to convert the Teelert airplanes to 170 horsepower Austro diesels for about $145,000 complete. For more information, see Diamond's website at www.diamondair.com. For a full review of the L360, see the July 2009 issue of Aviation Consumer at www.aviationconsumer.com. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb. Thanks for watching.